Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be creating the dashboard. So previously we have created all the visualizations that we wanted. And now we are going to combine each visual visualization into a single dashboard view, right? So that we can have a view of all of the visualizations that we have created for our data so that we can analyze the data in different dimensions and in different um, charts, right? So that we have multiple view ways of viewing the information that we were working with. Okay, so previously we created new sheets for each visualization. So if I click on a sheet, we can see them. And right now we need to select a different type of tab which is the new dashboard tab so select that so here is where we will be building our dashboard for the application so the first thing that we need to do is we need to um, select each of our visualizations that are displayed under the sheet section so we will start with the earthquake prediction map so select that and drop it onto the view so as you can see we currently have a fixed view right so it's a fixed size view so what we want to do is we want to extend this view to fill the entire screen almost and what we also want to do is we want this view to be scalable depending on the size of our window so for instance if i have a smaller window i want the dashboard view to scale accordingly and if i maximize the window i want the dashboard view to scale accordingly as well so in order to achieve that we need to change the size so locate the size section so right now you will see it says desktop browser so select that and you can currently see that the size is fixed so select the drop down and then select automatic. Okay, so now after we have selected automatic, we can see that we have a much better, much larger view of our earthquake prediction map. Okay. And now it also scales with the size of our screen so if i make the window smaller you can see the entire view right and if i enlarge it it scales accordingly so that is what we want so that whenever we open the dashboard on whichever size screen we want the dashboard to be able to scale that's why we selected the automatic size so that is fine and then the next thing that we need to do is we need to add our bar chart so let's select that and then drag it below this legend over here okay and now we need to make the map smaller so that we can see the bar chart more clearly clearly okay so you can play around with the size of each visualization to make sure that it fits the entire view and that you can see each and every visualization okay so now we have our bar chart alongside our earthquake prediction map so now we can see our predicted earthquake values as well as the number of earthquakes for every year according to the rest of our data set okay and now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the donut chart so let us select that from sheets and then we are going to add that on top of the bar chart and just below the legend right over there okay and now let us create some more space 
Okay, so as you can see, things are not lined up the way which we want. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the type legend. So this legend belongs to the donut chart. And we are going to drag that to the right. Over there. Okay, so that is where we want that to be. And now we are going to make this smaller and then make the donut chart smaller. Okay, and just a little bit smaller. Okay, and now that we have that, the next thing that we are now going to do is we are going to add the magnitude plot. So let's select that. And we are going to add this below the earthquake prediction map. Okay. And then we'll make it a bit smaller. Okay. So that's fine. And now the next thing that we need to do is now fix the dashboard and not having things um, in the wrong areas. So you can see the number of records. We don't need that. This belongs to the donut chart. So we can remove this. Right click and then remove from dashboard. Okay, so now we have created some extra space. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove the legend and then move it onto our map so we can right click that and then select floating and then drag it onto the map okay and now we can decrease the size or the length of the bar chart To make room for the donut chart. Okay. So that seems better. And now we can create more room for the map. Okay. So that is much neater. Right. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to sort out the legend. So we can first right click and then edit our format legends. And then the font, we will change the color to white because it's on a dark or black background as you can see you can now see the information on the legend and then we can maybe make the text or the font bold okay so that is fine we can close that so now we can see the legend information and now we can make the legend wider okay and now the next thing that we can do is we can either leave it like this but i like the um to these two labels to be underneath instead of next to this bar so we can right click and then change the layout to multiple rows 
now you can see we had it as we had before these two labels are underneath the bar so this is how i like for it to be and maybe make it a bit smaller okay so i am happy with that okay so now we have our complete dashboard we have our donut chart which displays the type of earthquakes as well as the number of earthquakes within our data set compared to the number of nuclear explosions we have each type of, of earthquake you can say or disaster in our data set which is earthquake explosion nuclear explosion and rock burst we have the number of earthquakes that occurred for every year in a bar chart and then we have our magnitude plot where we have an area chart on top of each other where at the bottom we have the average earthquake magnitude for every year and then above we have the maximum earthquake magnitude value for every year okay and then in our earthquake prediction map we have this map view which tells us the earthquakes that were predicted for the year 2017 as well as the intensity of each prediction where we can see that the darker the color of the dot or the point the higher the earthquake intensity and the closer the color is to yellow the lighter the intensity and if we want we can also use our search tool and search for specific re uh, regions like Fiji and we can see all the earthquakes surrounding the Fiji region and these were all predicted okay so the next thing that we can do is we can see how our earthquake dashboard can scale when we change the size of the screen so if we have a smaller screen it's not perfect but it is reasonably neat and scales with the size of the screen okay and you are welcome to find a way to um, deal with this legend because right now it's currently floating so it's a bit in the way maybe even remove it i don't know and if we want to view the dashboard in presentation mode like how we would see it in production without the rest of um, these tools we can select the presentation mode over here and we can see the entire dashboard right which is much better to look at okay so that is it for this video thank you guys for tuning in and i hope that you have learned a lot so far and that you can use the skills that you have acquired and build better and um more interesting applications and projects so thanks a lot for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next lesson thank you